Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, you and George have a great history, great friendship. Uh, what's it like going to work with him every day? Is it is it a challenge? Have you is it have you become sick of each other now? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard work. Uh, we don't really speak anymore. You know, Just here to support everybody else. Yeah. No, it's we have it's it's uh, you know it's fun. So every day we go to work, we laugh, we have a great time. We've been friends for since I was 19 years old. So. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, 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 I'm lucky. Yeah. And in terms of him as a, as a filmmaker, you know, he's matured over the, over the years. He's done so many amazing films. What have you seen him in, of him in this one that's maybe different to the films that he made earlier in his career? Um, well, I mean, you know, he's a father now. And this is a sort of a, in a way, it's a coming-of-age story, a father-son story. So I think that his, that, that speaks to him. Um, and um, I think... You know, he just gets better. You know, he just gets better with each film. Uh, practice makes perfect. Yeah. And I mean, what 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 drew what drew you guys to this particular project? Obviously, you've made so many kind of you made a, a huge eclectic range of different films together. What was it about this one that spoke to you both? Oh, uh, you know, we the last film we did was The Midnight Sky, which is a sort of a you know pretty dystopic. It's pretty you know it's a heavy film, and uh, we wanted to do something that felt uh, uplifting. You know something because we, we we did this right in the middle of the pandemic and we wanted to do something that sort of felt good you know felt like everybody could use a little uh something a little more uplifting yeah, certainly could and again you've assembled a fantastic cast uh tell me about the process of getting all those people and, get, and having someone as you know well, ben affleck in there as well we we went to everybody we could find and everybody passed so we went with ben affleck no, Ben. Go down that list of bat Batman, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're they're at the bottom, right? <laughs> but um, we, um, you know, he, we, when you read the script and you read the Uncle Charlie who he plays, you you go, that that's something for Ben. That's a part that Ben can play. So that was a no-brainer for us. Yeah. And then um, uh, Christopher Lloyd, who plays a grandfather, somebody that George and I just always wanted to work with, finally got the opportunity. Yeah, and then uh, Lily Rabe, who we tried to work with a, a bunch of times, and just for whatever reasons, uh, didn't work out. But she is just spectacular in this. And then um, Ty Sheridan, who people might know from Ready Player One, uh, he's just not only is he a great kid, but he's a, he's a great actor. And then there's a, a young boy in this a kid named Daniel Ranieri, who uh, he's he's 11 years old, and he's just he's outstanding. And you know we found him on uh, we found him on TikTok. You found him on TikTok. Yeah, we found him. On, he did like a viral video where he was talking about the lockdown. He, he, he was talking about the the effing lockdown, the effing lockdown. This no, and uh, George and I saw it, and uh, we we got a hold of him and we gave him the part. Easy as that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just finally, I, I spoke to a couple of days ago. I was lucky enough to speak to Jamie Lee Curtis uh -huh. and spoke to her about True Lies. Yeah. Of course, one of my favourite films. Yeah. Uh, and how that film still resonates with so many people, and how James is so busy that we still don't have a Blu-ray across the world, and so many fans are clamouring for it. Do you st are you surprised you still get asked about True Lies? I mean, I'm asking you I'm, now, but I, I'm not surprised because it's such a such a fun film, and I think it. it I don't know. It, some films come out at a time that just they stick. Um, I'd always heard rumor they were going to do another one, and uh, but I, I, I haven't heard anything about it. There was talk of a TV show as well, but oh really? Yeah, but without Arnold and Jamie and you. Yeah, without well, me. That I mean, no. well, it's harder for you to do that VHS camera trick now That's with right. digital. I could take the camera here, and <laughs> I might have a gun in there. Absolute pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for stopping. Take, take care. Time. Have a good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.